Right, good morning. Let me go into the first game for today, which is our Anagram Quest. So I'm just going to let that load. There we go. I don't know what today's theme is going to be. Let's find out. So I hope you're well. Oh, it's letter days. Ten letter days. So I've not had a notification yet to tell me I'm live. Oh, there I am. I'll turn my volume down a little bit. So we'll see who joins. Now this live stream today is actually brought to you bright, bought, brought, brought to you bright, bought, brought to you from my kitchen. Because again, I forgot to charge up my uh, power bank. So good morning, Kim. Good to see you. I'm feeling a little bit better actually, but do you know, actually I only woke up 10 minutes ago. So <laughs> I don't know if I sound, in, I do sound a little bit different. But I've got my coffee, I've got my... Uh, I always have a drink of water first thing on the morning, regardless of coffee. So grab your drinks, guys. <clears throat> and it is Friday, so that means it's the start of the weekend. So anyone got any plans? Anyone doing anything this weekend? I've not really got any plans, because it's that, it's that sort of... <clears throat> January is the sort of month where, like, you're kind of recovering from Christmas... You're recovering from colds. Anything that you do at the weekend in January is not really much because you can't really you can't really go anywhere, can you? If the weather's not great, so there's just so many factors in January that where you've got to kind of motivate yourself to to do something that you enjoy, but you know that because of the weather and because of other things, you, it's not always the best, is it? That it makes sense. So, although I was thinking actually of booking a uh, a little trip, <laughs> but it won't be until like sort of April time. Uh, you're moving, moving so you're moving stuff into storage, and that's another good thing as well. Yeah, January is a good month for spring cleaning, getting rid of stuff that you don't use. I actually got rid of a microwave this this week, and it's given me so much space in my kitchen. I can actually move, put things where I need to. Um, I do actually have a second air fryer now as well, which I will be showing you on TikTok shop. So uh, yeah, it goes on forever, doesn't it as well? And it's just, I mean, next week it's going to be so cold. Have you heard about the weather? So uh, right, should we make a start then? Let's make a start where we'll, people will join as we go through the live stream. <coughs> so uh, yeah, but I do feel better today. I do feel better. So here we go then. Best of luck. You get 10 points if you get each correct answer. Okay. To cause to be unable to move or act. To cause or be unable to move or act. That is your first, your first clue. <laughs> You've got two air fryers as well, Kim. Yeah, they are brilliant though, aren't they? They are good. I've got some news to share with you actually for next week. <laughs> I've got some really good, I've got some really good news to share with you next week. Well, no, well not really, yeah, it is kind of good news. You know what, right, is it immobilised? Let's find out, immobilise. Do I just tell you now, you'll be the first ones to hear the news. So I was going to post out a video about it. So I've got I, somebody got in touch with me last week. They said to me, Aiden, we saw your air fryer video. Would like to use it. So I was like, okay, what do you want to use it for? I'm going to be on TV. So I was like, okay, yeah, use it. That's fine. So I'm going to be on Channel Five on Wednesday. There's a program happening on Channel Five. So if you want to watch it, <laughs> you'll see my you'll see my face on there. It's quite quite funny actually. Okay, next question then. I think it's at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock on Channel Five. It's a program all about air fryers. They've been doing a series about them, and um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to be on the show for. If they're going to use any of my uh, actual voice. It'll probably just be the image. I don't know. I said you can use both if you want. 
So 8 p.m. Yeah, on Channel Five. <laughs> but it's just a video. It's not me like being interviewed or anything. They may they may ask me in a, in the future to come back and do a video uh, to do some uh, filming for them. That would be quite funny. Okay, next one. Question number two. To cause to feel extremely happy and joyful. To cause to feel extremely happy and joyful. <laughs> yeah, five minutes of fame. Although I have been on TV before, actually. I was on The X Factor. I was also on... What else was I on? I wasn't performing on The X Factor. I was just in the audience. Uh, I was also on ITV. Sadly, when Joe Cox passed away, I was in the uh, in the shot. The TV show. Well, not exactly a TV show, I know that. Yeah, I met, I met Simon Cowell, Ollie Mers. It was Ollie Mers that was hosting at the time. So I met Ollie Mers and I met... Who else did I meet? Um, I've always... Yeah, I can't remember with anybody else. But it was when they were filming. Okay, everyone's saying, let's go back to the game. <laughs> uh, is it... So it's not... A, no, we did that one. No, I wasn't singing. No... I am a good singer, actually, though, but... Right, back to the game. Let's focus. <laughs> I should have some clues. This is a tricky one. So, to cause to feel extremely happy and joyful. We've got a T in there, an E. Another A. As we've been watching Wheel of Fortune, the new show... I found it. I found the UK version, I'll be honest with you, with Graham Norton. It was very Americanised. It's it's the, it's very, very Americanised. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I did it. And some of the words weren't actually English. Well, in my opinion, they weren't easy, were they, to be, if you'd watched it. And the other thing was, um, I noticed the winner of the show, don't get me wrong, I'm all, I'm all about playing for rules when it comes to word games, but I noticed that she was timed out. Did you notice this? She was timed out, and then three seconds later, she came back in with an answer. That shouldn't have happened, because that gave her the lead to then go on and win the show. So, maybe someone knows her, and, you know, well done to her for, for winning all the other rounds. I think she still would have won anyway, but I don't think that was fair when she when she was allowed to come back. The other two didn't give any answers. But she was like, within, within three seconds, and I thought, I thought it should have been longer to allow the other players to, to, to guess a word. And she got it within the three seconds, and then she went on to win the... Yeah. Okay, exhilarate. I, <laughs> I'm just sorry I'm chatting, but... Okay. I'm a real person, I'm not a robot. Get used to it. <laughs> It, it, what annoys me is that, you know, all these algorithms and platforms and it's all rules this and rules that. I do follow rules, of course I follow rules, but let's have a chat as well at the same time. Have a bit of fun and be human again. So tell your friends to follow this channel. We're not like a machine. <laughs> okay, I'm in my kitchen right now. I'm charging my phone up because I, my actual charger wasn't charged up. Before I came live, so I thought, oh no, what I'm gonna do. Maybe I should live stream from my kitchen more often. Well, I do that anyway for the cooking. Right, next question then, here we go. A person who is fond of and knowledgeable about a particular subject. A person who is fond of and knowledgeable about a particular subject. And I'm still having issues downloading the videos, guys. So I don't know what's happening. So once I've once I get them all downloaded, I'll just put them all up. So I'll have plenty of replays to watch back. But I have up to ninety days, I think, to to download them. So I should be okay. So this starts with the letter A. Okay, well, there's an N in there, an A, and an O. I think Anagram Quest is better than Wheel of Fortune. What do you reckon? Is it 
Aficiano. Okay, we say aficiano. Aficiano sounds like a coffee, doesn't it? Aficiado. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. A F I C I and then O N A D O. Spot on. Well done, guys. I don't mean to be funny. I really don't. It's just, I can't, I can't even, don't forget, I just woken up 10 minutes ago. Right, next question. Here we go. To cause to become more intense or serious? To cause to become more intense or serious? Begins with the letter E. So yeah, we're, we're, we're hoping to get some snow next week. By Sunday afternoon, it, the cold weather is going to cover the, the whole of the UK. So you're going to be below minus, you're going to be below freezing. Let's just say that come Sunday evening. I think it's about six o'clock, seven o'clock. So wrap up warm, guys. Get your blankets, get your blanket hoodies. There's still time to order if you want anything from my shop. And then we're going to get some snow. Snow day next week. I reckon the first snow day will be... It's possible Tuesday for the north. Wednesday, more likely across the whole of the UK. I do like snow, but I don't. I, I like snow, but I just don't like ice and slush. And also, there's some wellies as well, guys. As well for last year when it snowed, I didn't have any Wellington boots. If you want some wellies, there's some in the shop as well. Still time to order. I think they're about they're between. I think they're ten pounds. I'll have to check. I haven't checked for a while for the boots. You don't want to leave the house on Monday, says Kim, no. I've got an idea, Kim, for you. If you don't want to leave the house on Monday and you want some snow, stick your head in the freezer. <laughs> there you go. Actually, no, I don't recommend sticking your head in the freezer. Okay, next. So, anyone get this one? Is it exaborate? Exaborate. I can't, I can't even say it. Exacerbate. Exacerbate. E X A C. We learn how to spell, don't we, as well on this channel? E. Oh, I've spelled that wrong. E X A C E R. Wait for it. B A T E. Well done. Well done, Laurie. I would never have put the A in that spot. <laughs> Um, that's a brilliant, yeah, Kim, that's brilliant. Sorry, I can't come into work today. I'm currently in the freezer and I'm snowed in. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like a freezer though. I think when I checked the temperature, it said minus 10, feels like minus 10. We've not had those temperatures since 2000 and it was either 16 or 17. I think it was 16. 2016, but then we had that beast from the east. Um, I think that was was that that was 2018, wasn't it? Okay, next question: a feeling of great sadness or unhappiness. A feeling of great sadness or unhappiness. I'm supposed to be off to York as well next weekend. So I don't know if I'm going to make it to York, depending on the weather. We might go and see Adam, uh, Snowballs Entertainment here on TikTok. He's uh, he's very very good at karaoke and doing all that. Okay, is that the answer? Is it melan melan? I can't even say it. Melan 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 melancholy. Let's find out. Melan. O L Y. Well done is correct. 
Melancholy. I've never I've heard of it, but I've, I don't use that phrase as much. You don't really hear it, do you, if, if that makes sense. Right, question number six, best of luck. A feeling of high regard and respect. A feeling of high regard and respect. I also wanted to ask you all a question, actually. Possibly from next week or the week after, would you prefer me to come live an hour later or stick at the same time? Don't have to answer yet. I'm not going to make any final decisions, but it's likely it won't, it won't happen next week. It'll be the week after, whatever happens. If it did, did change, it will be from the following week. And the reason for it is just because, because I've not been well, I've been going to bed earlier or sometimes going to bed later because I've felt better in the evening, whichever way around it's happened. And it meant it's meant that I've either woken up really early and felt kind of okay, and then later on I've kind of felt worse. But sometimes I've woken up really late and then felt worse for coming on. If that, it's not going to happen all the time, I know, because I'm not very been feeling well. But I've also when I have come live at eleven o'clock before on occasion, where I've been late or I've done some, or I've had to do something in the morning or whatever, and I've come on. So it's just getting the balance right. So it's just getting your opinion whether you, you prefer an hour later. It also would allow for Americans to join. But I don't want to make it too late, where like 12 o'clock, because that's it's too late for me, because it means I can't really do anything in the morning. It's only on the days that I'm coming on, of course. So I'll, we'll, we'll see. Just let me know your, what your thoughts are. Right, is it admiration? Let's have a look. Admiration. I think I remember changing the time once. It was because Melanie was... Melanie had to go to the clinic, and that was the reason I used to come on later was because I would, she would always ask me and say oh can you come on a bit later because I'm going to I'm off to the clinic this morning but I'll be back in time so just a thought I do like 10 o'clock though because 10 o'clock was always lockdown time <laughs> it just gets everybody out of bed and well you might be in bed right now but okay here's your next one number seven but I'm going to be doing I want to start doing more evening broadcasts as well because Maybe from February. But I always change my time. Next question. To make something more complex or difficult. You have terrible sleep. I know it's it's shocking, isn't it? And the weather plays a big part in it as well. Okay, is it complicate? Let's find out. Complicate. Oh, uh, yeah, P-L-I-C-A-T-E is correct. Well done. Right, next one, question number eight. A feeling of great thrill or anticipation. A feeling of great thrill or anticipation begins with the letter E. Okay, who done it is saying excitement. Is it excitement? Excitement is correct. Well done. Who done it? Okay, we should have a quick drink of coffee. And here's your next one. A feeling of deep disgust or loathing. A feeling of great a feeling of deep disgust or loathing. So I'm drinking the coffee that's from TikTok shop and it's really nice. It's called it's called Cunnery Genius Coffee. And uh, I, they were roasted. I don't know if you saw my video. They were roasted on the 4th of January. I actually received them on the 5th of January. And I just put them into my coffee machine and it ground it all up and it just made the coffee. And it's, 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 like, it's the Italian blend and it's very nice. There's like a 30% off sale at the minute on their coffee. They do all the like roast coffee, uh, ground coffee and uh, French press coffee, aero press coffee as well. So if you love coffee, go and check them out because you're getting uh, 250 grams, 500 grams or a kilogram. It's going to last you a while. Okay, is it abhorrence? Abhorrence. 
Where's the other B? Let's see. Oh, they've got O, R, R. What I like about fresh coffee is that you can actually use it for iced coffee. But you can't use like freeze-dried coffee, like you know, from a shop, like uh, you know, in a in a in a in a tin. You know what I mean? Like in a a glass bottle. <laughs> I'm not. I can't even. I can't even get the right words out today. You know what I mean? You know, you can't make a fresh coffee and let it cool down and then drink that. Ugh, disgusting. But fresh coffee you can do. So you actually get two drinks from it if you make up a lot of coffee. Um, I can't even spell. Abhorrence. E. Where's the E there? N-C-E-E. -E. I missed the H, didn't I? Sorry. Yeah, abhorrence. A B H O. A B H O double R E N C E. Yay! Well done, guys. Okay, next question. This could be the last one, but there might be 20, I don't know. Number 10. A sudden and intense feeling of anger or frustration. A sudden and intense feeling of anger or frustration. Is it irritation? Bethany says irritation. Let's find out. Is it irritation? Let me know where you're watching from, guys, as well. It's always nice to know where you are. Give me a follow. I'll, I'll follow you back when I see it at the end of the live stream. And then what I want to do this year is, I don't, we need, I don't always like to change things. I, I like to keep what works. But I have got a Discord group with like a community chat in there. So we could maybe form that. There's also the sub chats as well. I'm going to start looking into that. You know, ways which we can extend the the, uh, the live streams. The, the Discord's always there if you ever want to chat in there. Uh, I can't even, is that the A? That's the A, isn't it? Yeah. And then Shun. And obviously there's always the replays as well on the YouTube. So you can always watch them back. Well done, guys. We had 10 questions there. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was Anagram Quest. So um, a guy called William reached out to me, actually. He said, he said, I've got a game that I'd like you to play, and it's called Anagram Quest. So thanks to William for setting up that game because it is good and it does change every day. You get the free game every morning or every time you load the app each day. So different themes, we do them, them, but you can also subscribe if you want to his game where you can access all the packs and play Anagram Quest. So that's up to you if you want to download that Anagram Quest on the App Store. So we'll keep doing them until um, till we get bored. <laughs> Okay, so we'll come out of there, we're going to now, and at the, at the end of this, I'll give you some quiz questions. So, right, which ones do we choose? Let's go for, these are all easy. So let's go for this one. Best of luck, guys. Here we go. And if you get each one of these correct, give yourself one point. If you want to clear the screen so you can see the full screen, if you're on an Android phone, swipe left. If you're on an iPhone, you want to hold down on the screen and press clear display. The hard ones are insane. <laughs> we'll have to try one of those soon at some point. Right, here we go then. Here's your first crossword for today. Your clue is Toyota Hybrid and it is five letters. Toyota Hybrid, five letters. Best of luck. Do you know, I actually prefer doing it from my kitchen? It means I can snack on things at the same time from the fridge. <laughs> so yeah, I've not really got a busy weekend as such this weekend. Um, I do have to. I do have to have my hair cut because my hair is getting quite long now. I think the last time I got my hair cut was back in. Oh my goodness! I think it was my birthday which would have been in September that's a long time isn't it 
So yeah, October, November, December. So that always takes me up to how long my hair gets long before I do need to cut it. I'd never got it cut at Christmas. So it's going on for about 15 weeks. Normally I don't get my hair cut. I, the longest I usually leave it is for about 12. Most, pe most people generally get their hair cut every six weeks. So I've got to get my hair cut and I've got to get... Um, I had some birthday money, so I'm going to likely spend that as well. Going to uh, the great city of Leeds, go shopping. What's 1D? It might help. Yeah, let's find out. Let's 1D. Right, well, I'll give you the first letter, but the clue would have been elegant ballet blend. Bend. Elegant ballet bend. Okay, let's go back to that. Clue. I'll give you the letter. So it starts with letter P. So it starts with letter P. Five letters. Toyota Hybrid. I was watching a. I, well, I wasn't watching a video, but I was. I remember somewhere saying, "How do you engage your audience on a TikTok live stream?" And you know what the answer was? Is if when it comes to quizzing, make sure they know the answers. <laughs> it made me laugh. I was like, "Yep, yeah, I can agree on that one." I just left you there for like two minutes without a clue. So let's have another letter. P R. Is it Prius? That sounds right. That does sound right. Is it Prius? Yes, very good. Who done it? You knew someone who had one of those, the Prius. Hello, Rihanna. Good to see you. Welcome in. I'm not sure if you know the, hear the news about Melanie. Sadly, before Christmas, she passed away. So please have her in, her thought, in our thoughts. I've not seen you, I don't think, before Christmas. Okay, number six. US Army Vehicle. US Army Vehicle. I know you and you and Melanie used to compete against each other. You'd always be the ones <laughs> with the quickest answers. So it will be sad without Melanie. She was uh, uh, just the best, wasn't she, really? The best of humanity and, yeah, just, yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, oh dear. She'd be saying, come on, Aid," And it was always the wrong answers with Melanie. It was not not actually with her. It was the book that she gave me. It had all the wrong answers in. <laughs> so, we'll be doing some questions soon at the end. Okay, next question is US, US Army Vehicle. Okay, first letter is a J. I'd always message her saying, I'm going live, I'm going live. <laughs> and then she'd always used to say to me as well, um, I'm sorry, Aiden, but I fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, well, was that because my voice sent you to sleep? She said, yes. And I said to her, so, well, I should maybe start doing like a story book reading or something to send people to sleep. I, I think my voice can be quite relaxing, can't it? All fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Is it a Jeep? Let's find out. Is it a Jeep? Jeep is correct. Well done, guys. Right, number 10. Well, in that case, blank, blank. Well, in that case, blank, blank. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Two words, it starts with the letter I. Starts with the letter I. Is it it is? It's not it is. Could it be is it? Not is it. Keep guessing.
Steve saying, I'm in. Not I'm in. Is it I can? I can. Well, in that case, I can. It's not I can. Okay, let's have another. Remember, it's two, yeah, two words. Um, second letter is an F. Well, in that case, it could be I and then the word beginning with the F, or it could be if blank. And you can't see it at the top. Hold the screen down on if you're on an iPhone. Dis clear the display or swipe left from the left hand to right on an Android. And you'll see the screen. Should we have another letter? Let's find out. The third letter is an S. I think it's if so. Is it if so? is correct well done guys right next next crossword specialized vocabulary specialized vocabulary and it's five letters can't believe it's half past ten already where does the time go, guys, when we're playing these games? I could test out a new game with you actually today. I don't know if I don't know if it if, if it would work. Well I'd want it could work, but it's it's more of a chat based game, so maybe at the end I'll we can I can have a little play to see if it would work. Is it words? It's not words. Starts with letter L. Is it Latin? Sorry, who done it? I missed that comment. It's not Latin. Specialised vocabulary. Let's have another letter. Second letter is an I. Third letter is an N. Is it lingo? Lingo is correct. Well done, uh, Jack. Okay, 15 across. Bronte, heroin Jane. Bronte, heroin Jane. I want to take you to where she lived, where she grew up. All the Bronte sisters in uh, Bradford. It's, it's a little village called... Uh, well, there's actually two places, actually. There's Thornton... But there's also where she grew up, where they were born, and it's in um, Holmfirth, I believe. Holmfirth? Howarth. It's Howarth or Holmfirth, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's Howarth, with the big hill. Is it Jane Eyre? It's with an E, I think, isn't it? Yep. Eyre is correct. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely be going there this year, I promise. We'll go and see where she lived and where they grew up. Okay, 16 across. If if she saw you hiding, is that Brontosaurus? <laughs> Good one, Steve. Okay, number 16. Interstate entrance or exit? Interstate entrance or exit? Now, I found out something really interesting yesterday. I was, I was watching a video about uh, a little place where I've been to and I've taken on a live stream. Uh, in Filey and I knew that the actual site where I stayed at last year was actually the home of uh, Butlins if you know Butlins Billy but Billy Butlin who, who started the uh, Butlins the holiday site well I didn't know that in the 1950s there was actually an elephant and sadly the elephant passed away after his owner died and they buried the elephant on the site. And I didn't know this. And we'd actually walked near where the elephant was buried. Nobody knows where he's buried. But there is actually an elephant buried on the on the cliffs of Filey. So, yeah. On the actual site near... It's called the Bay. Where the actual Butlin site used to be. Because they couldn't obviously move the elephant out of the 
the stable block where he was staying. So yeah, if, if, if you knew there was an actual elephant on the Filey Butlin site in the 1950s, it wasn't Nelly, no, I can't remember his name. They must have had a name for him. <coughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, any guesses? Is it Ramp? Yeah, Ramp is correct. Well done, Jacko. And, yep. Okay, next question. Okay, we're looking for three words. Your clue is safe. Doesn't really help, does it, that clue? But your clue is safe. Three words. How many letters is that? Five. Is that ten letters, I think it is? Yeah, ten letters. <laughs> he packed his trunk. Sadly, yes. I wonder what he was called, though. I need to find out the name of the elephant. His owner was called Ibrahim. I mean, what would you call an elephant? Well, other than Nelly. Maybe he was called Nelly. Yeah, he said, well, I don't know. It says, says, it says, just says safe. It could be as in protected. Let's have a letter, shall we? So it starts with letter I. Let's have a few letters. So int, int. Is it in the woods? Safe in the woods? Not in the woods, but in the something. I should say this is five letters. In the hoist? Not hoist. Not house. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm still a little bit <coughs> chesty. In the okay, let's have another another letter. Begins with the letter C. Safe in the. With the letter C. I noticed another thing on Wheel of Fortune. They don't say the letters anymore, do they? They used to say, I'll have a C for Charlie, please. They just say C. Any guesses? A five letter word beginning with the letter C. In the clear. Is it clear? Yes, well done. Clear is correct. Well done, Steve. Uh, and sorry, Jacko. Jacko got that first. Well done. Okay, next clue then. Bed frame plank. Bed frame plank. Four letters. Blockbusters when people would. I will have a pee, Bob. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. They should. They should say at least something like that to keep the language alive. Because for me, that was part of the show. That was the first time, really. In my, when I was growing up, I think it was like the first. It, that's like part of learning, wasn't it? It's was like to help you with your vocabulary would be to to say, well, C is in Charlie, or you know. No, it wasn't always the phonetic alphabet. You could always think of whatever other word you wanted to say. You don't have to say it as in, like, R as in Romeo or A as in Alpha. You just say A as in whatever word you want to say. But that was also a way of learning as well. Yes, Bullseye's coming back. I'm looking forward to that with Paddy McGuinness. Yep, yeah, here's what you could have won. Okay, is it slat? Yeah, 
Yes, slat is correct. If you said slat, very good. I should say well done, replay viewers, as well. Okay, 20 across. A conceited person has, <laughs> has a big one. Be clean, guys. That could... <laughs> <laughs> a conceited person has a big one. This could be anything. It's got to be three letters. Three letters. Is it ego? Ego is spot on. Well done, guys. Okay. 21 across. Gridiron organisation now owned by Dwayne Johnson. A gridion... Organisation now owned by Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> yeah, it's too too small, isn't it, to fit in those. Is it HFL? Not HFL. Keep guessing, everyone. Is it XFL? Yes, XF XFL is correct. Okay, 22 across. Bay Area Airport Code. Bay Area Airport Code. Pop your answers in. Yes, yeah, so just to let you know then, if it does snow next week, I will be live, probably in the snow. We always go for like a winter walk. It just depends. I think if it's Wednesday, so obviously I'll be on on Tuesday. I will be on on Wednesday anyway, so I'll let you know before then. They're also saying in the news as well that a lot of people don't always pick up on, but there's a possibility that after this snow event next week, we're going to get even more snow the week after. So they don't, they don't always tell you that. So next clue then is a bay, the Bay Area Airport Code. Ah, Culinary Genius Coffee's in the house. Good to see you, my friend. So I mentioned earlier about the coffee that I'm drinking. If you give them a follow... That's where you can buy the coffee from that I mentioned earlier. Very good coffee. So go and check it out. And they've got 30% off, as I say, at the minute. So go and buy them while they're at that, that, that price. Freshest coffee you're going to get. It's a very nice coffee as well. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just full of cold at the minute. There we go. So it's SF something. Let's have a clue. So first letter is... An S, a second letter is an F, third letter is, could it be X? Let's find out, SFX, not SFX, is it FFN, not SFN, think of it, Bay Area, is it San Francisco, so could it be an O? Yes, O is correct. Well done, host. Right, next one then. Best of luck. Again, it's worth one point. Blank Lanka. Blank Lanka. Is it SRU? Not SRU. Is it SRI? Shri is correct well done for one point well done if you said sri sri lanka okay 25 across urban sitting place urban sitting place and this is five letters let me give a shout out welcome d welcome cj good to see you here i know some of you just sit on the side and wait <laughs> <laughs> I call it, it's what's called incognito mode, where you can come, go into a live stream 
or sometimes you're not in the live stream but you're just listening in and if you're one of those right now just come in just join sometimes you can't even hear me anyway but you can see me yeah setting the mark a lurker that's it yeah a lurker on periscope it used to be called um incognito mode Okay, is it bench? Let's find out. It's not bench. So urban sitting place. Let's have a clue. Starts with the letter S. Starts with the letter S. Good morning, Sophie. Good to see you. You're all joining today. There's not a lot on TV, is there? <laughs> this is why I started doing live streaming because I used to put the telly on in the morning and it was full of rubbish. The news was so dull. I thought there must be something better that we can do on, on at this time of the morning than putting on the TV. <laughs> okay, let's have another clue. You've been ill as well, Dee. Yeah, same, it's just, the thing is, my, my cold has lasted since around Boxing Day, Christmas, well, not so much Christmas Day, but Boxing Day, just after Boxing Day, and I've just had it for about two weeks, it's, it's, I'm a little bit better, but today it just seems to, there's no headache, it's just all like mucus and that nastiness coming out, hopefully, but I was sneezing again this morning and I thought, come on, it's got to go at some point. Ah, oh, don't worry if you're late. Don't worry. I'm trouble. I'm having issues downloading the the live streams, so so I can't upload the replays just yet. But they will all get posted at some point. Okay, let's have another clue. S T O S T O. <clears throat> Is it stool? Not stool, but very close. Is it stoop? Stoop is correct. Well done. Who done it? Okay, next clue then. 27 across. Two words. Blank, blank, and so on and so forth. Blank, blank, and so on and so forth. Yeah, last week I could I would not have been able to come on live because I even struggled doing the videos as well. I couldn't speak. And I just had such a headache. I can't even remember me doing the videos because I just I was just very low on energy and I just needed my bed. <laughs> or I'd wake up first thing in the morning and I just have no energy at all to do anything. Not so much to do, no, I wanted. I had a lot to do, of course, but I just couldn't do it. I did it in the end, but it was quite a little bit of a struggle. Despite my actual... Um, I can't remember what I'm going to say then. <laughs> Starts with an E or an O. Okay, starts with letter E. Starts with letter E. Right, let's have a few letters. E, T, C. Etc, etc, is that right? Spot on, well done. Who done it? Well done. Right, next question, next clue. Racks up as debts. Racks up as debts. Starts with the letter I. Okay, is it in cures? Let's find out incurs. It looks correct. And it is. Well done. 
pH 7. Okay, next one. 32 across, two words, <coughs> Pepsi Rival. Pepsi Rival. Now, I posted a video out yesterday about Pepsi. Was it Pepsi? No, it wasn't Pepsi. <laughs> it was Diet Coke. So if you like Diet Coke, you can get some cans for 36 pence each. Use the voucher to get the discount if you spend over £18. If you wanted to get some other drinks as well. It's all in the video. Go and check it out, guys. Yeah, is it Coca-Cola? Let's find out. Oh, it's not Coca-Cola. Should we have a letter? Starts with the letter R. Starts with the letter R. Yeah, try to use that third letter of this word. Comes from nine down. He's saying it's a C. Perfect. Yeah, it could be a C. Let's find out. It is. Is it RC Cola? I've never heard of that. RC Cola is correct. When I went to Turkey in 2018, I had, for the first time, Coca-Cola infused with coffee. You can actually buy coffee. Well, it's cola with, with coffee in it. Didn't really taste much of coffee, to be honest with you. <laughs> right, next question. Here we go. Next clue. Stiller and Blank, comedy duo. Stiller and Blank, comedy duo. Well done, Sophie. <coughs> God. <coughs> because I'm not sat down at a table, I'm having to bend over to type in the answers. So it's affecting my sinuses a, a bit as I'm bent over. <laughs> okay, Stiller and Blank comedy duo. Is it Mira? You're all good at this, you know. I wouldn't have a clue. Okay, it's not, it's not Mira, but is it two R's maybe? I don't know, no. Not another E, no. Miara is correct. Okay, next one. Secure supports while climbing. Secure supports while. Shouldn't I say whilst? Secure secure supports whilst climbing. Starts with the letter F. I need some, we need some like suspense music, don't we? Like, do, 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 Go on, I'll give him credit. It's called Swift Beats. Our good friend Swift Beats. Go and follow him. Okay, is it Ooth Holds? Not Ooth or Footholds? Fo Footholds, maybe? That's foot. It is spot on. Well done, PH7. Yeah, it's not a full sentence. <laughs> so, exactly, yeah. Right, next one then, well done. If you said it, then you get the points, regardless of whether it came on first or not in the chat. Right, 38 across. Great dog. Great dog. Is it Dane? Is correct. Right, next one. Minor chess pieces. Minor chess pieces okay is it pawns p-a-w 
NS is correct. Well done. And 40 across, sheet on a mass. Sheet on a mast. Is it sail? It is correct. Well done. And 41 across, two words. Hot spot for pizza. Hot spot oh, pizza now. Hot spot for pizza. Two words. <laughs> I'm glad someone said that, Steve. I totally agree. Especially when you've got a cold as well. You've got to be careful how you say certain words, definitely. I'm just going to put some ice in my cold coffee because I tell you what, I think it's going to make nice iced coffee. That's Must be mad having a nice coffee, but it does taste quite nice. Okay, let's have a clue then. First word starts with the letter B. Second letter is an R. Yep, I'm guessing that's an E. Oh, it's an I. Hot spot for pizza. B R I. What's the weather like where you are, D? Is it quite quite warm? Okay, is it brick oven? Sounds right. Brick oven is correct. Who got that first? I think that was Lynn. Lynn, well done. Give yourself one point. Well, you all get points if you said that. Okay, next one then. Some teachers grade on one. Some teachers grade on one. Is it tests? Not tests. Could have it could have it could have made a place also yes. Okay, is it exams? It's not exams. Is it paper? Not paper. Okay, it starts with the letter C. Uh, I should also mention as well, whilst I, whilst I remember, <laughs> so I don't forget, if you want any crossword books, pens, glitter pens, or writing paper, there's also colouring books as well, after the live stream, just click on where it says showcase on my profile page, and you can search for crossword books, colouring books, mindfulness books, colouring pens, they're all on there, so by the fabulous uh, Jules, I think her name is, and she's from Flutterbite on TikTok shop. She's an amazing woman. She's an amazing um, shop on, on TikTok. So do check check um, her books out. And they're really, really cheap as well. Not, not cheap and tacky, cheap and good quality ones. I'll be showing you them again. It's likely next week we'll be doing the paper ones again. We'll see, we'll get through. Once I get better. Okay, is it curve? C U R V E is correct. Well done. Right, your next one, 44 across. Padded boats is your next clue. Padded boats. Starts with the letter C. Another C. Okay, second letter is an A. 
yeah, is it canoe? That was the first thing I thought of. Well, actually, the first word I thought was, was canal. And then I thought, like a canal boat. And I thought, nope, not enough letters. But canoe is correct. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, 45 across. Caused damage to. Caused damage to. Starts with the letter H. Yeah, we'll fill some of these in then. So we've got 36 down. Is that an E? And 37 down. Okay, is it harmed? Lynn's going for harmed. Lynn, you're always you're always so quick. Harmed is correct. Yep, Lynn got that one first. Well done. Followed then by CJ and PH7. Sophie. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was just a spelling mistake. But you got it yet, got it afterwards. Well done. Okay. Right, 46 across. Someone who lives the high life. Someone who lives the high life. Someone who lives the high life. Okay, let's have a clue. Starts with the letter S. Okay, keep guessing guys, we're back in just a second. Any guesses? Mm, right, let's have another letter. Second letter is a T. I'm going to give you the last letter for a change. Last letter is an R and fourth letter is an N. Someone who lives the high life. <laughs> I think I know what it could be actually. You get it high, high life. Oh, is it a blocked word? Yeah. So I think it is, let's fill it in first before I say it. I think it's yeah, and it was stoner. Stoner. Right, 48 across. Gooey campfire camp fire treat. Gooey campfire treat. If it's the word I'm thinking of, I got one of these at Christmas. Whoops. They were very popular at Christmas. The marshmallow kits, also known as a s'more. Sorry guys, my slipper keeps falling off. Small. Is it small? And I had one of the cookies and cream. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was actually the bag of coal, the, uh, the, if you saw it. They were very nice. Okay, 50 across. Triceps location. Triceps location. Is it arm? is correct <laughs> small 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 how do you like it indeed right 51 across fall back as a tide fall back as a tide starts with the letter probably an e i reckon yep e remember use the down words to help you fall back as a tide Is it Ebb? Ebb is correct. 
Okay, 53 across. UFO crew. UFO crew. Is it ETS? Is correct. ETS, well done. Okay, and this is the last of your three letter words for today. Instinctive, 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 instinctive as a reaction. Instinctive as a reaction. Three letters. Let's have a letter. Starts with A G. I, I think the three letter words are more tricky than the long words because you, you don't always, there's too many three letter words. Therefore, it makes it more difficult. When it really it should be easier, shouldn't it? <laughs> okay, is it gut? Gut reaction is correct. Well done, CJ. You were first there. Okay, saxophonists accessory. Saxophonists accessory. Four letters. Steve's got a feeling. <laughs> Is that the song, I Got a Feeling, Steve, or is that something else? <laughs> I've got that song in my head now. I got a feeling, do, 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 do. Yeah. Is it case? Not case. Just a gut feeling. Is it read? Yeah, read is... Correct. Well done. Right then, three words. 59 across. And your clue is extremely popular. Extremely popular. Three words. Right, let's have a first letter. Starts with A. Starts with an A. <laughs> That's what it makes me laugh whenever I say that. Starts with A and then it's an A. Three words. Thank you all for the likes, by the way, guys. And I always say it, but thank you for your support on the channel. Obviously, I don't just do word games. I, I, when I started the channel, um, in fact, when I started my TikTok, that was just because TikTok was it just formed in 2018 my first ever tiktok video believe it or not well it wasn't i actually posted the video months later well the video was from months before sorry it was of the blackpool air show in 2017 i think it was that was back in august i think yeah august um it could have been before i think it was 2017 um so yeah that was my first tiktok video and then I was doing Periscope videos. Uh, we were doing quizzes on Periscope, which is, was Twitter Live, basically. And um, so we did quizzes on there. And then when Periscope finished, we went to another app called Haps. I was on Haps for two years before they went bye-bye. And then also I was doing cooking, vid cooking live streams. And I wasn't really doing cooking videos until TikTok then realize we didn't have the replays on tiktok so i had to do the videos so i don't know if you like watching cooking do you like watching cooking live streams <laughs> because i don't always get lots of viewers for cooking view cooking live streams i think you prefer the videos to be honest it's much easier and they're saved as well but maybe i might do some should we do some word game videos what do you reckon if we do some word game videos, you'll all have to comment on the video though and check check it every day. To, 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 to maybe do like a daily riddle or something. That would be good. I'll think of something.
Right, let's have a clue. Let's have another clue. Cluesy. So it's A L. I'm gonna give you a few. Let's fill these in. E G L E R H All Extremely popular. All All the all the is it rage is correct well done guys okay next one 62 across dow jones increase dow jones increase i think what i might do is do like a daily anagram and i'll put it into a playlist on my profile so you can click on the playlist it'll say anagrams and then you can tap on it and then See if you can work it out <laughs> or whatever. I think that, that could work. Or maybe I could take a snippet from each of the live streams. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Okay, Dow Jones increase. Is it plus? Hello, Jamie, good to see you. Is it plus, not plus? Try again. Keep guessing, everyone. Starts with the letter. G. Starts with the letter G. Is it gown? Not gown, but close. Gain. Here's spot on, well done. Okay, last five now, guys. Teddy or Grizzly? Teddy or Grizzly? I'll go and get my quiz book. I'll give you some questions. <coughs> Teddy or Grizzly? Is it bear? Is correct. 64 across airplane walkway. Starts with the letter A. So we've got 43 down there, which looks like uh, car C, car C something, car C. Okay, is it aisle? Is correct. Well done if you said aisle. 65 across, active volcano in Sicily. Active volcano in Sicily. Is it Etna? Is correct. Defunct auto named for a defunct nation. Defunct auto named for a defunct nation. Starts with letter Y. I've just realised something. We've had no adverts today on this app it normally comes at the beginning of the app but for some reason we didn't get an advert is it you go you go is correct and your last one then guys easy put two words easy put now do stick around i'm going to give you five quiz questions five daily trivia questions to finish you off <laughs> for the day and then you can go about your day as normal is it tapping? I never knew that was two words. I always thought that was one word because they opened up a golf put all stars. Uh, there's, there's the advert now. Um, not far from me. Well, quite quite a few miles away, but they opened that up. So I wondered. I always thought that was one word, <laughs> not two words. So there we go, guys. Thank you for taking part in the crossword. Sorry for this advert. We'll get rid of that as soon as I can. They used to have the cross, didn't they, at the beginning? But I'm going to give you five quiz questions. 
So these are all random questions. If you get them right, oh, and we did that in 42 minutes. 42 minutes. That's nearly twice as long as our first one that we did. Not the first one, but never mind. Right, best of luck then, guys. Here we go. And all these questions are going to be on geography. Here we go. Question number one. In which US state is Philadelphia? In which US state is Philadelphia? You get 10 points if you get these correct. So pop your answers in the chat. I'll give you 10, 15 seconds on each one. In which US state is Philadelphia? Okay, so the answer is Pennsylvania. So well done, PH7. Well done, Lynn. Well done, Steve. Oh, Steve, not Bel Air. <laughs> okay, question number two. Which emirate takes up over 80% of the land area of the United Arab Emirates? Which emirate takes up over 80% of the land area of the United Arab Emirates. This is a good question, actually. Okay, I'll tell you what it's not. So it's not Saudi Arabia. It's not the United Arab. So the actual... So the question again, which emirate takes up over 80% of the land area of the United Arab Emirates? Okay, we do have a correct answer in the chat, so well done. If you're still thinking at home. So there's people that obviously do the questions not looking at the screen. Um, so I don't like to give the answer straight away. But we have got a correct answer in the chat, so well done. A place I've never... I'd, I'd, I don't know if I'd like to go there or not. I probably would. I don't know. I'd like to go f to see it, yes. The correct answer is, of course, Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Okay, question number three. Which is longer out of the Suez and Panama canals? Which is longer out of the Suez and the Panama Canals. So which is longer? So who done it saying Panama? Steve's going for Panama. Now at the beginning of the year, I think was it last year, I made a little design poster for my screen i've just realized but the problem was the live stream kept on closing down this is before we started doing the crosswords do you remember so i can't load an image on the screen because there was a glitch so i, I don't know whether to try it again soon so you don't see the congratulations on the screen but okay so the answer is the suez canal so the Suez Canal is 101 miles long. The Panama Canal is 48 miles long. So there you go. The, the Suez, if that's how you pronounce it, is longer than the Panama. Okay, next question, number four. What is the highest speed limit now this can either, I don't actually have the answer in miles, but so if you can tell me in kilometers, what is the highest speed limit in kilometers for an auto route or route in France? What is the highest speed limit in kilometers for an auto route, auto route in France? I'm guessing that's a train. 
What is an auto route? I don't even. I think it's a train, isn't it? Can it be a train or a? Oh, it's a motorway, is it? Okay. So it's a motorway, guys. So it's cars, lorries, and things. Okay, so we have a correct answer in the chat. Well done. Well done, PH7. The answer is 130 kilometres. Okay, oh, there's a question in here. Let's have this one. Oh, it's the next question as well. Which English city's mainline railway station is called Westgate? Which England, which English city's mainland railway station is called Westgate? Now, this place has two train stations, I should say. It's somewhere near me. So, which English city's mainland railway station is called Westgate? not York. I'll give you another clue. They were very popular on well they asked yeah, they were very popular on TikTok. And everybody everybody wanted to go there for a certain drink. I don't know what's happening with his shop as well at the minute. I know he opened up a phone shop a bit further down near the uh, near the cathedral uh, near the um the cathedral I think it is. Oh one second So I know he opened up a he opened up a shop near the uh, cathedral. It is, of course, Wakefield. Wakefield's a really good place. There's a lot of history in Wakefield. A lot of people don't see these Yorkshire towns as being, you know, they, they see it as it is now. Like if they've not a lot got a lot of investment in the town, it's like anywhere really across the country. But there's a lot of history. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Okay, we're back on guys that's so I, my, my phone went on to low power mode so make sure that's turned off i'm back on <laughs> i've not left the bill i'm back on can you all hear me okay just TikTok hadn't updated it where i had to select the live stream so we're back on so that's it guys the answer was wakefield so thank you so much for taking part hopefully you can still all hear me i will be back on i might jump on at the weekend we shall see so I might do a Sunday morning live stream. If not, I'll be back on on Tuesday. So have a great weekend, everyone, whatever you're up to. And a great Friday. Don't know if you can hear me or not, but anyway, take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, we just Steve's just joined. Yep, I think you had to come back out and come back in. So bye for now, everyone. See you all next week or on Sunday. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone.